One day I noticed that Minecraft creatures don't walk in straight lines to their destination. So if you put down a zombified piglin, which is trying to reach a little turtle egg in there, yeah, you can see the little guy kind of shifts back and forth as they walk. And what's going on here is that Minecraft creatures, most of them, a couple exceptions like bees and maybe spiders, but most of them can only walk in eight directions. They can go forward, backward, left, right, and perfectly diagonally. Or in other words, they can immediately walk to any of the eight squares around them. The result is that when a Minecraft creature is trying to travel somewhere in a kind of weirder diagonal direction, they'll have to do something like forward, diagonal, forward, forward, diagonal, forward, and keep kind of alternating until they get to where they want to go. So this got me wondering, what does a circle look like for these Minecraft creatures? I'm assuming that they walk at the same speed in each of these eight directions, that like the diagonals aren't necessarily faster for them, but we have eight black concrete evenly placed around the perimeter of this shape. It's kind of an octagon. Specifically, the four black concrete that are along the grid are 17 blocks away from the central white square, and each of these four diagonal black concrete are 16.97 blocks away from the center. And so these diagonal ones are 12 blocks out and 12 blocks up, and the reason this approximation works really well is that 17 over 12 is a really good approximation of the square root of 2. Anyways, with some geometry you can convince yourself that this like circle-ish shape we're trying to track down has straight lines between these uh, concrete endpoints, which means this shape is an octagon. Uh, by the way, ignore the pairs, those are <laughs> from another project. One of the problems with like displaying this shape in Minecraft is the same as displaying a normal circle in Minecraft is that you can't place it perfectly. You have to use some kind of blocky approximation of a circle. So what really sucks about trying to place this thing is that these edges don't have a perfect like two to one slope. They're just barely slightly more than that. And so here's an approximation of the circle that pretty much any foot traveling creature in Minecraft uses. The black perimeter here, in other words, is all the points that are the same distance by foot travel in Minecraft from the central white point. So the obvious question for Pi Day is, what is Pi on this circle? So what's cool is when you use like the zombie walking approach to measure distances here, this octagon actually just has one radius. Normally an octagon would have an outer larger radius and an inner shorter radius. But here, if we're measuring how long a zombie takes to walk that distance, those two radii are the same. Specifically, the distance a zombie takes to travel the perimeter will be this blue distance times eight. I've just kind of like cut one of these triangles out of the octagon. And you can use some properties of the diagonal distance to actually kind of shift this shape around. Like for instance, the distance from this blue concrete to that one is the same as the distance from this blue concrete to this gray one and same from here to here if you follow this path instead of uh, that one. Oh, that's cool, there's a little... Oh, is this like a memory test? 3.141, this is gonna take way too long. Anyways, with a little bit of algebra, you can figure out that for zombies, this is what their pi is. It's this number, eight times the square root of two minus one. One thing that surprised me is I would have guessed that pi for a zombie would have been like smaller than real life pi, but it's bigger and this graphic here kind of shows why. You can see that the path the zombie takes along the outside here is like a little bit larger than what an actual circle would look like if you inflated. You can almost imagine like inflating these triangles so they puff out more and look like actual semicircles. Semicircle? Now a semicircle is half a circle. How do you say eighth of a circle segment? Slice? If you inflate the slices, <laughs> it'll look like a, a true circle. The octagon pizza would be kind of cool, actually. Anyways, I'm not just here to rant about the math. I actually have a practical application this time. So you can create this kind of octagon approximation shape for any mob. So like this platform here with Enderman would be the most efficient platform shape. It's the one that would have the lowest average distance to the center out of all those spawning spaces. So that brings us all the way back to this gold farm here. So this Tower of Magma Blocks is Dash Pum's gold farm. It was released a few months ago. And using this kind of weird octagon like circle knowledge, 
I reshaped the spawning platforms to actually make them more efficient for exactly the same cost. Actually, it kind of looks like an octagon already, but it's an octagon that's in line with the Minecraft grid. So, you know, the top, the bottom, left, right are all like perfectly straight lines. Uh, by the way, if you want to look this up outside this video, these kinds of distances would typically be called taxi cab distances. Because, you know, if you're like driving a taxi around city blocks, you can only move in four directions. Although we're doing eight directional taxi cab geometry. You would also use it to like study how a king moves in chess. Anyways, I have removed 12 blocks from the original dash pump shape. So that's these uh, blue ones here. So they're about 7.6 meters to the nearest portal block. And I've added in these three, which are seven meters even. Number of spawning surfaces here isn't changed, but if you calculate the average distance to center, it's like, 1% better than the original. And with a farm like this, you know, that's producing hundreds of thousands of gold. Eh, okay, 1% is a decent increase. My name's Chris. Happy Pi Day. 3.14159265359275325893789375105820582097494495920789474944592307817 six <laughs>